I've been asked multiple times on how I ended up building our side door rear hatch and the trailer trim going along the side of the trailer with the roof rack. So let's take a closer look and we'll also do a walk around of the whole trailer build. So you can see this is one eighth angle. It's sealed all on the edge. It's sealed underneath as well. Every few inches we drilled holes, screwing it in. Then you have the unis strut welded on top. Again, screwed all the way down, which is holding the rooftop. The roof rack is holding the rooftop tent. Or whatever else you want to use. So then we have the screws going down the edge as well. Now for the rear hatch door, we have one eighth going across. Again, drilled all the holes, welded, welded them all together. The hinges are welded down to the one eighth trim of the rear hatch. Now for making the rear door, the trailer has three inch, three by ones here, and then a little one inch in behind to make the door jam. And so the door jam is then all through the end. It's a little hard to see it. The support lifts mounts are made out of aluminum. They're attached on the bottom inside there and on the rear hatch. And then for the trim actually has is a lip and I have a rubber seal going around the whole edge. We have an upper shelf for some snacks. We have, you can see our, one of our filters there going out to the outside. We have our solar panel coming in. We've got our main kitchen bench here. And then underneath, we keep our cutlery, cleaning supplies, some spices, cups, all the good, all the good stuff. So that's our rear kitchen. Turned out uh, quite well, happy with it. We also have two lights underneath. So at night, we have a light up here so we can see the top shelf. And then bottom shelf. So at night, you can really see what you're doing in the rear hatch. So that's the rear hatch. The trim going all on this side with the Again, a strut welded on the, with the roof rack. So this door trim, same thing as the rear hatch, screwed down, 1 8 flat bar welded on the inside, and then rock guarded, hinges are welded. We have an RV latch installed. I still have to finish the inside of the rear hatch. Door latch is just right now temporary. And then we have the rubber seal going down the trim. We have our aluminum trim for the side door. We have an overhead shelf with light, two skylight windows, window window, overhead lights for where the clothes areas is. We have our power station to charge and run other lights. Shelf up above, shelf down below, and then we have our sleeping area. And then we have our front tongue box with all extra gear. Our hitch is removable, so I can put on the lock and roll hitch that I've built. That'll go on later. 
we have the rooftop tent, the awning, and a pop-up solar panel. It actually slides out and then you can pop it up at a 45. Oh, and the other thing I actually didn't talk about was our rock sliders slash fenders. So they're bolted on, welded right to the fender. So the whole, once four bolts are taken off, the whole fender system comes off. And then we have the torsion axles underneath. Each window has its own screen. When you open up the inside, to allow air movement, no bugs or anything's going in. We, I use, I cut out the screen and then use 30 pound tape, double-sided tape, all around and firmly pressed in the screen to hold, to hold in and form to each window. And the outcome is, it's turned out very well and held up very well. Haven't had any issues with all the miles that this trailer's put on so far. The trailer will sleep five people. You can sleep three in this rooftop tent and two inside the cab. If you want to see a more in-depth video on how we built this trailer or this square drop trailer in our garage, you can check out the video here. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this walk around of our square drop trailer and how we ended up building the trim and our side and rear hatch doors. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Coming in, we use some styrofoam to, or some foam, not styrofoam. In our garage, you can check. If you want to see a video,